ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another episode here on Pastiche Skin. I am fucking hyped. Hyped as fuck. Blast Blue Cross Tag Battle. Um, right, so basically, for anybody who is not knowledgeable about a uh, fighting game series or a company called Arc System Works, they make fighting games. And they make them in a particularly unique and interesting and cool way that they are fairly they're very wordy they were doing storyline they got very overly evolved plots they have beautiful character designs they have a wondrous screen filling lunacy everywhere and they've made a series of games called blast blue for a long period of time and they've also made a game series called persona 4 arena which is a fighting game based on the persona uh, rpg series and if you recognize, if you're a fan of Rooster Teeth Productions or of uh, Monty Um, then you will recognize the girl at the top of this trailer. That is Ruby Rose from Ruby, R-W-B-Y. I have heard about this literally in the last 20 minutes or so. So I have no fucking idea what this game is going to look like, sound like, or what is going to happen in it whenever I start this trailer. I am... Fucking unbelievably hyped. So uh, I think we might actually watch this once. I'll talk about it. I'm actually going to clean my glasses so I can see better. My God, I am actually blind. Um, yeah, this is... Uh, for once, for once in a goddamn while, I actually have a hype train where I'm fucking hyped. I really want to see this. So uh, let's, let's just chill the fuck out. Catch your breath. And watch some fighting. One of the possibilities. Well, it makes sense with the uh, Blast Blue series because it... Oh, cool. <laughs> so with the Blast Blue series, they tend to actually do like timelines repeating and possibilities being... What's going on? The possibility of like different things happening because of involvement from different dimensions and worlds. And seeing characters from Persona 4 Arena, Blast Blue, interacting with each other is under... Let's see, Thunder Knight in birth, I don't know, but seeing a tag battle game, like, they are, they are ripping the balls out of Marvel vs. Capcom, because they've already done, they've, they've got Dragon Ball Z coming. Now hang on, just a minute. Yay! Are we going to see some gameplay of Ruby Rose as well? Yes! Ah, <laughs> oh, that's, mm, that's mildly disappointing, but... <laughs> oh yeah, that was cool. Um, I'm just gonna rewind back and pick a scene. I'm just gonna pick the shot of Ruby just to have her. Oh no! Uh, <laughs> rewind back a little bit more. God damn it, Ruby! <laughs> you just don't want me to image you. Jesus Christ! <laughs> Is it just the fact that I'm actually like? There we go. <laughs> This is the fact it was going so fast through it. Um, so obviously uh, it's four games crossing over. Persona 4 Arena, uh, Under Night in Birth, which I don't know at all. I've never played that game or that game series. Um, I don't know if it's actually... Well, I'm sure it's actually one that's really big in the fighting circuit, but um, I just, I've never got my hands on it. I literally was playing Blast Blue earlier on today. In fact, what one was I playing? Uh, Chrono Phantasm Extend. And I was playing Calamity Trigger a couple of days before that. So I was just kind of like digging around playing through older games because um, PS3. We've got some retro games coming on for easier on the channel. But um, yeah, I haven't played the Ruby uh, the Ruby game that actually was brought out not that long ago. Uh, I, th I think it was one of those things where I meant to sit down and play it. Then a bunch of review games came in at the same time. And um, I had to cover the ones that were actually being given to me rather than actually spending money on games. Because I'm, 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 one, I'm cheap and two, I'm broke. But the... Um, I've always followed the Ruby series from afar. Um, I'm a huge fan of Monty Oom's work and I was following him from before he actually joined Rooster Teeth and before uh, Haloid and before. It was one of those things where it's just like, it was weird to actually see somebody I knew through a completely disparate thing working his way across to something that I've been following for years as well. And then seeing the two of them cross over was amazing because they did amazing work together. And um, sadly, I was passing the... the, the there's only so far a show can go without its original creator, but uh, Ruby's came strength to strength and is massive uh, around the world now. Uh, it was weird seeing merchandise for it in Japan, but they, um, yeah, it's it's cool to see characters crossing over. It, it, it's so, 
Um, I, I'm looking at this and going like, right, so we've got character crossovers and we've got tag battles. So do we uh, do we have the full cast from Ruby showing up in this as guests or is it just Ruby Rose? I doubt it's got, but if they're showing like a four player split screen like that and it's tag battles, I'm willing to bet it actually is. Uh, the We're going to see uh, Yang, we're going to see Weiss, we're going to see, and then we're going to see all of them showing up in the actual game, which is going to be really exciting. And of course, uh, Blast Blue has been an amazing game system, an uh, amazing game series, and actually uh, really, really uh, deep and involving and hard to really grasp. <laughs> I've never been a great Blast Blue player, but I do enjoy the story elements of it. And uh, Persona 4 Arena, I absolutely love because Persona 4 is a great RPG series, great characterizations, and I enjoyed seeing another take and another tale of that world because um, it, I, I actually like Persona 3 and 4 a lot more than I do Persona 5. In fact, if you I haven't done any videos here on the channel about Persona 5 because I've really been quite meh about my experience with it, so I just didn't want to start ranting about it on the channel. Uh, so yeah, Persona 4 uh, Arena. The best thing about Persona 4 Arena being in this is that we see characters from Persona 3 as well in it, which is going to be great fun. I'm looking forward to seeing who we get through. I'm imagining uh, a roster of like, what, say... It was, so say if you take a minimum of four from each game, so you have a 12 players selection, and that's that would be fucking modest for the these game, game developers. But um, yeah, this, by taking the idea of having Ruby, uh, the, the four members of the Ruby team, and then four players from Persona 4, assuming uh, you've got your main Persona 4 cast. So maybe Teddy, maybe, uh, I'm trying to remember, I'm trying to think of who would actually all come through from, I would, in, in the end, I want our detective to make it across because uh, she, he's my favorite character in uh, Persona 4. Eh, and Kaji as well. But uh, yeah, uh, the dark horse in this whole thing is, of course, the uh, Under Night in Birth. So I'm trying to remember the title off my head because I literally only saw it for the first time in this. But uh, I'm, I'm going to go look up that game now, find out more about it. I'm sure, I don't know if it's actually an older game in the ARCS library or it's actually a game that just hasn't been big as much over here. But I am now intrigued and want to know more. So I hope you guys want to know more. And I hope you want to see more from uh, the Ruby and guys actually in this game. I've, Ark have got a massive hand on them. They've got Dragon Ball Fighter Z. They've got this. Uh, the <laughs> Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite is looking not great, guys. I, I played the demo. You saw me. In fact, actually, I'll throw a card up and you can actually see me playing through the story demo, and I was not impressed in any way, shape, or form. And to ha th this is a much bigger reveal than the uh, Jedha and Gamora reveal that they did at the end of Evo for Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite, which was done literally with gameplay that you didn't get to see any special moves or anything. This has me hyped as hell, and I'm really looking forward to seeing more about it. So, guys, thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed hearing me ramble on about Ruby, about Persona, about uh blast blue and you would like to hear more about any of those titles any of those uh, history of those titles then make sure to hit the subscribe button and comment underneath and tell me that you would like to know more and if you don't feel like doing the subscribe thing of course you can just search for me passage of skin i'm mildly ubiquitous if you remember the name you know where i am i'm not trying to hide and if we're watching this on youtube boom uh popping up will be a subscribe button boxes over on the side there will be for playlists uh, most recent stuff for Hype Train, Far Side being most recent uploads to the channel, and a video just for you, specifically based on your tags, your views, your watches, what you watch on YouTube. You'll find someone on my channel that's made for you, and I recommend you check that one out. So thank you very much for watching, and I will see all you dudes in the next video. Bye!